Hi, I'm Pepper Cox. I am a revenue coach. I currently live in Alabama. And my favorite thing to do is ask people questions and help them squeeze more money from their business. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome, Pepper. Pepper is a very good strategic marketing coach and uh, I like very much. Uh, she is amazing. I have been, uh, I know her from HTC, of course, but uh, we have been together in the uh, summit, uh, international summit together. And she was a very perfect speech there. <laughs> Goodness, I don't think that's yeah, yeah, very you did, yeah, you did it, you did it, you did it. So Pepper, uh, what uh, specific incident uh, inspired you to, to get started in, in your business that you are writing now? Oh, thank you for asking. I was taking a class on quiz funnels uh, to do lead magnets, and they highlight the importance of asking questions, especially in marketing. And so when I realized that how much I ask people questions already, um, I thought, oh, I could do that. And I didn't I didn't think I could use that as a strength to start a business. So it was taking that class that made me think, that I could do something with that. Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, lead magnet was called this? What, what is uh, quiz funnels. Quiz funnels. It's, yeah. it's using quizzes, you know, quizzes that you like, what cheese type are you or what gem type are you? Like a quiz. Mm -hmm. And you use that quiz to attract leads into, a, into your business as a funnel. Wow, amazing. And so um, why did you choose uh, marketing? Why why marketing? Why not sales or why not managing? Why marketing? So I don't just do marketing, but I but I I like to focus on the parts of marketing that a lot of people don't look at. Hmm. For example, right, the market dominating position. Most people focus on, I need more leads, I need more leads, but marketing is huge. There's big umbrella. And so there's a lot of parts that people and business owners don't know about or don't look at. And so that's what got me interested is, is being able to help them know that those parts are there and, that, and why they need those parts and then to help them get those parts in place. Yeah, I think that uh, we live in the marketing world. So everything is marketing. <laughs> everything is that. <laughs> yes, that. And um, I think people don't ask enough questions mm -hmm. about their customers or about themselves or the business and what they want. And marketing is all about questions. Yeah. And so that's that's why I called my my business Kick Ask. <laughs> yeah. It's about asking the questions. Yeah, the problem here, uh, especially in Albania, I think that in Europe too, is that the people when have problem with sales or with problem with revenue, they say marketing problem. I don't have marketing. I do <laughs> and uh, it uh, could be right, but there's probably more to it they than that. Could be yes, you you have done <laughs> right. They could be because uh, marketing equals ads. Ads, ads on TV, ads on that and all that. But no, it's not ads. It's not only ads or, or ads. It's a small thing from the huge marketing. Correct, and correct. The, and when I talk to the people and they say, hey, uh, do you have a target? Do you have a business plan? Do you have a structure? No, no, no. I, didn't, I need only leads. I need only leads because I know to close them. <laughs> Let's say. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, in general, businesses, I, I define it in two, two different ways. Uh, uh, people who have a lot of leads, <laughs> a lot of uh -huh. clients, a lot of work, and they are, oof, I cannot do this, oof, I cannot do this. And people who have lack of uh, clarity on the market and lack of leads and lack of, lack of, lack of. And so... Uh, I like that uh, you, uh, the way that you uh, present 
the marketing and uh, the way that you see the pro the prospects and the leads and the funnels is is very useful for the business. And um, um, usually, usually, Pepper, how do you attract new people into your pipeline? Actually, right now, I, I don't. I, I work on a referral basis hmm. um, because of how much time I spend. So I can only handle so many at a time. Um, and I'm also a big believer in being selective with people to work with so that we can make sure we're a good fit. So hmm. obviously, eventually, I'm going to expand more into programs and things like that and begin working on attracting people in the pipeline, which I'll have different strategies for uh but right now i just referral seems to work good for now <laughs> until i'm ready for that uh, yeah that's cool uh, mostly uh people believe in their products and their uh, powerful uh service or product and uh, they, they found that i refer system works very well so uh, referral system is something that you are based on or is something temporary and then you can go on again with something. Correct. We have two other businesses right now. So mm -hmm. I'm not quite ready to to open up <laughs> the floodgates oh. just quite yet. <laughs> okay, sure. Good, good. Uh, who are the mentors or uh, that you learn from most? The mentor. Oh, good question. <laughs> most of my mentors are all from audiobooks or, or physical books, but my most impactful teacher and mentor for life and business is my Sifu Danlock. Mm, yeah. But yeah. you know, yeah. you, know <laughs> you know how incredible he yeah. is. He changed our life, yes. Yes. It's very good. And uh, he's very uh, introvert. Huh? I think that I, I, he is introvert. He don't uh, like the, so much uh, people there uh, like this is something that he learned. Do you think yes, so? I think he's focused, <laughs> so that helps. <laughs> he's extremely <laughs> focused, um, but he's very personable. Um, he right because he wants he doesn't he's very selective, mm. which is important for business owners. That I think, I think that's one of the things he taught me the most mm. is that you you pick the people who you resonate with and you want to work with and they want to work with you because that's when you're the most effective. And it's not just any client or any, or you don't want any customer in your funnel or any customer in your pop line. You want people who are going to appreciate what you have. And you know what I mean? They're going to work with you. I think that, I think that uh, uh, a good marketer or a good uh, consultant or someone who who do who wants to who need to do marketing for the business needs to start from the closing need to start from the selling because you cannot uh, understand marketing without understanding closing is it true what what do you see what what do you suggest well yes right your the first impression is a form of sales Right, you're kind of if you don't filling it out, product, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, sales, um, it should involve a lot more questions. That's why I like closing the term closing better, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Closing involves a lot of questions, and that is the key to your business, your customers, the right product, the, the naming your product to the right funnel to the right marketing strategy to who, um. So yes, I, I I agree with what you're saying because closing involves questions and questions to me are the, questions are more more powerful than the exclamation mark, right? Yeah. They, <laughs> they give you more answers. <laughs> of course, uh, because green monsters are all over the world. I think that the uh, understanding marketing is uh, something that you need to collaborate with your team. Uh, I have some business that uh, in consulting that uh, the two uh, teams fight together and uh, the marketing say hey i give gave him to leads very good leads and it doesn't close and the same <laughs> people say 
what is this leads these leads are very bad <laughs> and uh, they have exactly. bad. but in general the the program the fighting or the problem or the, the conflict always brings progress when uh, in the business is everyone happy happy no one is uh, upset uh, be careful <laughs> something is not going on <laughs> because yes, and that's even beyond marketing right that's about um personality types and the their mindset right their okay. skill level mm -hmm. the and, and the targets too because i think that uh, uh, building a company is building a, a team because business is a team sport and to build a company, you need to build a team. And to build a team, you cannot build a team without uh, planning uh, small uh, conflicts. But but it's something related with the work, not business, not uh, person. Person, <laughs> I hate you. No. Yes. <laughs> it's just my work is that you are, we are we are happy. <laughs> and uh, in general, the target of the market marketing is different with the target of the sales and uh, these two teams must be very very good work close same page mm -hmm. same page same page mm -hmm. but with conflict <laughs> because uh, when there's no conflict is a big problem for the uh, business why I say this? Because always I see that uh, the clients say to me, hey, very, very, I, uh, in my work, we have a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Pressure is something that you have to pass it. <laughs> or you can live in the comfort zone. You can sell ice cream. No pressure there. <laughs> ice cream, no pressure. You can sell it <laughs> all the day you want. And you can watch TV all the day you want. And uh, managing uh, the team or the, the talent, the talent is, is very important. Uh, I like marketing when I uh, started... Uh, made, uh, sorry, sorry, because you are the interviewer and, uh, <laughs> and I have to ask questions. <laughs> no, you're fine. This is... <laughs> This is your platform. <laughs> it's my first interview, and I, I really thank you. I really thank you for you to accept it because I, I like very much uh, starting my program with uh, marketing issues. Uh, so, Pepper, when did you realize that uh, you were an uh, influencer in your industry? You were very well known in your industry, were capable to, to do this work that you are doing now. <laughs> that's, a big word. <laughs> that's a big word that's a big word uh i i didn't i did not uh mm. realize that and uh, i guess until maybe a hint until people started um telling me and encouraging me more to go out more and to do classes and workshops and started asking for appointments i i think it was at that point um i realized oh right there's <laughs> There's something there. People are starting to get to know who I am a little bit. Um, so yeah, I didn't. I didn't really realize until you. I think you people start asking you more for your mm -hmm. time and more for your advice and more for your expertise. So you mentioned Sifu Den Denlock. Uh, mm -hmm. We call it Sifu, but uh, probably you know Denlock. Uh, Denlock is for marketing or is it, or is it only for closing? What do you suggest? No, I, I, for me personally, he is holistic. Mm -hmm. He, although he markets a lot of uh, business and strategy and closing marketing sales, when you actually are in his world, in his realm, and in his community, he he provides that part that a lot of others are missing. And he, and he focuses on you as a human being and building you up as a human being and helping um, those areas that you lack in, right? Providing those areas of lack. So he's, I don't think he's one or the other. I think he's he's more of a holistic mentor that mm -hmm. covers the both. He covers the, the, the strategy and he covers the, right? The mindset and the inner self and confidence and all these other things that you don't think about. So you suggest uh, Denlock even for the marketer, even for the business uh, mastery and everywhere. hands down, just yeah. for a human being, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I, I think uh, for a human being, yeah, most important. <laughs> I think yes, I think yes, because uh, he he built your personality and he, he built a, a, a human, not a... Exactly, what he teaches <laughs> is not just, you can apply it. Apply it everywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. Right, you want to close your wife on a date or to let you have a new car, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's for anything. <laughs> Okay, and um, how can you describe the role of the marketing in the area of business? How can marketing help sales or how can marketing help uh, business? Oh, goodness, that's a huge question. <laughs> oh, no. can... Yes, because yes. Overall, I, I know that is 100 hours uh, lesson, <laughs> from... <laughs> yes, but only in general. <laughs> You know, there is a book, there is a book called The One Page Marketing Plan. Oh, what is this? Alan? It's, an, it's, an, it's a book by Alan Dibb. Uh -huh. And he, there's like a part in here where he breaks down, right, that whole umbrella of marketing. Um. I don't, I guess I, I won't read it right now. It's like one little page, but if you, if you get the book, I highly recommend it um, on page 15, he talks about like what marketing is and he breaks it down to like um, advertising, promotion, publicity, public relations, sales, hmm. um, strategy and tactics. Mm -hmm. And then he gives you examples for what those things are. But for me to answer, I guess, your question, how can marketing as a whole help a business? I, I believe it's when done properly, it brings clarity. It brings purpose. It brings understanding to you as a person and, and, and to humanity as a whole. And I believe it brings money, <laughs> so, <laughs> which is what a lot of people want. So. Okay. Um, to, to me, marketing is like a, a pilgrimage. Mm. It's like a holy, a holy work. If you, if it can be very spiritual. Nice. Nice. I like the, the analogy that, uh, Brian Tracy, you know, Brian Tracy? No, I don't. I'm not oh, really, really. Brian Tracy is the best. He's, he's my, one of my mentors and he's the best. Brian and Tracy? Brian Tracy. Yes. I have done. Oh, okay. This. I thought you said Clacy. Okay. Uh, Tracy, Tracy. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Dan Locke mentioned from in the ad. Yes. Brian Tracy said, and uh, the analogy that Brian Tracy do for marketing is that uh, you are in a big stadium, you are talking, and you are presenting your you are speaking. Okay, and uh, when you say, how many people are interested? about my product and uh, let, let's say that 5,000 people there in the stadium, only 100 raise their hands. This is the influence or the result of the marketing. 100 people raise the hand. And then after 100 raise the hand, what comes next? sales <laughs> and the sales the closer call and say hey convert 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 and uh, this is called the, the i think i like very much this analogy and i think that this is very clear to divide when start the marketing uh, when uh, finish the marketing uh, area and when start the closing area and with this example, you can define uh, the result of one department and the other result of department. Yes, I think I think before the people raise their hands, though, I think that what a lot of businesses are missing is before that, before the people are raising their hand. It's the marketing is also the research and the and the homework. Of course, oh, yes. But in the sales funnel, in the sales funnel, yes to describe the results of the marketing, because the marketing is not only ads, it's not only it's, woo, 
seven p nine p is <laughs> eleven now. Correct. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the, the, if you want to measure in the funnel uh, sales in the beginning is lead generation or everything like that, and uh, this is to 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 be more clear about one result and the other, and to say to the sales that your conversion is like that. And the result of the marketing is like that. The the some 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 of the result is that you generated these leads or uh, in uh, online marketing. So this is something that uh, maybe is uh, useful to to clarify in the team of the sales and the business in order to don't crash, not conflict so much. <laughs> Look conflict. at the numbers. Look at the numbers. <laughs> okay. And uh, okay. Uh, what is, be careful of this. <laughs> what is the biggest lesson that you learned after you have made a mistake? Did you make a mistake? Made you, did you make the mistake in your uh, career? Honestly, my my biggest mistake was not believing in myself okay. earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Because I think that single mindset has cost me an insurmountable amount of time, joy, and personal success. I would have started a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. And I think that's happened for a lot of people is that they hesitate or they don't do things or they, maybe they don't make certain decisions in the business because um, they don't believe that they can actually achieve a certain level. So sometimes they self-sabotage themselves and they stay at a certain level because they don't really know it yet, but they, it's because they don't believe that they can do more. Hmm. Even yeah. if they say it, right? <laughs> yeah. We, we all, all we have the, the same regrets or the same the problem with confidence <laughs> when we are not confident we are shy we go there and, yeah. and uh, uh, after learning this problem or this mistake uh What is the biggest lesson that you have from learning this? So what is your next action or what did you understood when you realized that this was the mistake? I realized that I need what I needed to. I think the biggest outcome was recognizing that what I needed to work on and then start figuring out what I needed to do to overcome it and start taking action. Hmm. So I think the biggest lesson or result is um, actually making things happen now, doing and doing the things that you want. You <laughs> because you're not, and... you're not afraid. Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing's holding you back but you, right? A, a lot of people say that it's not nothing new. It's we're the ones that are preventing us from getting to wherever we want to go. It's no one else's fault. Okay, awesome. And uh, is there any, is there any important question you want to answer, but I failed to ask? <laughs> <laughs> not fail, not fail. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <To improve> um, <laughs> yes. Well, let me see. There's a very important key to marketing and having breakthroughs or in general that most people don't get. And that is there's the difference between doing the work that it takes versus doing the work that you feel like doing. And a lot of people are busy, busy, busy. They're just busy doing things in their life. And they think that just doing things is going to get them where they want to go, but that's wrong. There's a big difference between doing work that you're comfortable and okay and willing to do and rolling up your sleeves and doing uncomfortable work that you don't feel like doing. The work that your goal actually requires, that marketing requires. 
And that's inside work and outside work. And it's challenging and it's not always pretty or comfortable, but it's rewarding and it delivers the biggest results. The scary work pays. Uh, this was so profound. Can you explain with uh, the, <laughs> an example, please? <laughs> Is it possible for the audience? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right, for example, I, I meet so many people, they want to start a business. Maybe they're good at baking or they're good at, I don't know, reading or writing. And they think I'm going to do LLC and I'm going to make a name and I'm going to make products and I'm going to sell it. That's not what it takes to be successful. They think just doing that is going to make them successful. If mm -hmm. you truly want to be successful or a millionaire or seven figures or whatever, six figures, whatever it is, there's more work that has to be done that people are uncomfortable with. For example, you have to be on YouTube, but you don't like to take pictures or be on the camera. So you try and avoid that, mm -hmm. right? But you can't if you want to be at a certain level of success or you don't want to do the work on your avatar and sit down and actually think and answer all these questions. Mm -hmm. You have to if you want to know who your customer is and what they need and how you can help them and how to attract them mm -hmm. or what words are going to attract them or what products are going to attract them, you know? So that's kind of what I mean. People, people just want to do what they're comfortable. I'm okay with doing this, but I don't want to journal or I don't want to exercise or I don't want to get up early or, you know? And so the difference is doing the work it takes to get there not just what you feel like doing. You mm -hmm. have to do the uncomfortable. Yeah, it was so powerful, yes, yes. Everyone want to go to paradise, but no one <laughs> wants to die. Wants to do the work <laughs> to get there. They don't want to sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't want to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, everyone is uh, wondering or is praying to fly and uh, say to the laptop, <laughs> you know, go from the sky. Yeah, come on, money, just come into my <laughs> bank account. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's not for the faint hearted, right? Being in a business, it takes yeah. guts and courage. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely. And uh, the last question, uh, Pepper, is that um, do you recommend any book or, uh, yeah, any book or movie for someone who want to uh, improve their marketing skills? Just, just to be curious. Oh, yeah. Well, yes. Um, I highly recommend a book by, I had it right here. His name is Julie Applebaum. Philip Kotler. Oh, two, two books, right? The one that I showed you, this one's yeah. really good. Um, and this one. It's called the Brand Positioning Workbook. And I I love this book because it asks a lot of questions, and I love questions. It helps you figure out who your people are, who you are who you want to be and how you want them to think of you and how to set yourself apart. It's basically setting you up for success. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you work through this workbook, um, you will have a very solid foundation for your business. And I recommend that for anyone just starting, if you haven't even started yet mm -hmm. or you're thinking about it, um, or even if you have one and you're kind of struggling and you have a lot of competition, it's a, it's a really good book. No, great, great, great. Great, Pepper, thank you so much for your time and for your knowledge. I appreciate this. And uh, all the best. <laughs> Wish you all the best. <laughs> thank you. You too, Yuri. Bye. Yuri. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>